In recent years, the Taiwanese military, intensely threatened by Chinese forces, has been conducting active exercises in the East China Sea off Yonaguni Island. With the U.S. military also in the background, islanders cannot help but feel the growing tension between China and Taiwan. Republicans in the U.S. Congress are preparing to pass legislation to create a military aid program for Taiwan under the Lend-Lease Program. At a briefing, Chinese Defense Ministry spokesman Wu Qian said that the Chinese People's Liberation Army will never tolerate separatist actions aimed at Taiwan's independence and outside interference. The bill, which is the brainchild of Republican House member Michelle Steele and Senator Marsha Blackburn, is modeled after an early 1940s program that allowed the U.S. government to support European allies without having to directly enter World War II. The bill has already received bipartisan support in Congress. It comes at a time when the communist regime in Beijing has intensified its persecution of neighboring Taiwan. China is increasingly conducting military exercises near the coast of Taiwan, and warplanes from Beijing are violating the country's air defense space. One such military exercise took place in April when a bipartisan group of U.S. officials was on an official visit to Taiwan. These tactics forced Taiwan to mobilize its armed forces to counteract, while the island nation's population undergoes drills on air raids and other precautionary measures. Members of Congress say the federal government needs to send a strong message to China that there will be no aggression against a U.S. ally. House member Bai Him Shao said, Taiwan is determined to defend its freedom and democratic way of life, and we will continue to work with the U.S. and like-minded partners to maintain peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. Earlier this year, Congress voted on a bipartisan basis to revive the Lend-Lease program to help Ukraine fight the Russian invasion. Lawmakers hope the same will be done to help Taiwan in its hour of need. Beijing considers Taiwan its breakaway province, but Taipei has maintained its independence since 1949. The Chinese government has repeatedly vowed to take control of the self-governing island, by force if necessary, and reacts vehemently to any gesture that treats Taiwan as an independent state. President Biden upped the ante by saying three times that the U.S. has pledged to defend Taiwan. This is despite the White House's insistence on a policy of strategic ambiguity, under which the U.S. takes no clear position on the issue, or a one-China policy, under which the U.S. neither rejects nor accepts Beijing's claims about Taiwan.